How's it going troops? Hope you're having a blessed long weekend. It's absolutely crazy that we're getting into September already. If you've noticed while well, we're into the kitchen, we're into another episode of Cooking from the Garden. I think this is episode three already. So if you have a bunch of green tomatoes kicking around your garden that you don't want to wait to blush, well stick along. Here is a super awesome first time making recipe. It is called Chow Chow. Use your green tomatoes to make some chow chow. That's gonna be what we're doing today, is I have all the ingredients set out. We'll get you all switched around. Uh, the actual recipe, step-by-step -step instructions and ingredients is gonna be on my Facebook page. Same name as this, Maple Monkey Media, so if you're interested, head over there, follow along, and I post a lot more behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, that would be muchly, muchly appreciated, but we're gonna get into it. We're gonna show you how to make some chow chow with your green tomatoes. Let's get at it, everybody. Woo! So here we go. We got our cookbook all set. What we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using some brown sugar, some apple cider vinegar. We got some cabbage, red peppers. We got a sweet onion. Right behind that, we have some chili flakes, our pickling salt. Uh, we have a couple cloves of garlic. Um, what do we have here? This is, I believe, celery seed. And here we have our green tomatoes that we're gonna be using to make our chow chow. And uh, we have right behind that our four pint jars. So there's obviously different recipes that you can use for making chow chow. I wanted to try this recipe because it has the uh, the red chili flakes here and we're using our, uh, our red bell peppers as well. So I wanted to tr give this a try. Like I say, it's the first time making chow chow this way. Uh, we're going to be doing a water bath canning method this way. So I have four pint jars set out. Okay, so we have our green tomatoes here. The first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do with our green tomatoes is obviously wash them. So we have them already washed. We have a big measuring cup right here that we're gonna need. And you're going to need a bowl uh, that you're gonna be able to have a lid on or maybe put some saran wrap or some, uh, some tin foil on it because after we get all of our vegetables all chopped up, we need to set them aside, put them in the fridge for four or five hours or you can do it and leave them overnight and come back to it. So that's what we're gonna do. First thing off is I'm gonna just get the old recipe book here. And it says that we need, uh, let's say, five cups of chopped green tomatoes and five cups of chopped cabbage. So I have my cabbage right here and I uh, have my tomatoes. So we'll get chopping. We'll get five cups of each. We'll get those uh, into our bowl and we'll get everything combined and we'll put it in the fridge for about four hours is what we're going to do with this recipe. Five cups of chopped cabbage coming right up. Cut the butt off. Get rid of these old wilty extra leaves there. Okay. Chop this up, a little choppy choppy, choppy choppy. We're looking for uh, five cups of tomatoes. How do you want them chopped though, sweetie? It doesn't matter. It just says five cups of chopped green tomatoes. Kabaji. <laughs> it's very kabaji. I don't know, I guess this is what they mean by it. Chopped cabbage, that's definitely chopped. I would say even half of that is, is uh, five cups. So that half of a cabbage right there looks like it's probably going to be about five cups. Going to get that all measured off. Uh, we're going to get our five cups into our bowl that we have here. We're going to get all of our vegetables all chopped up into the bowl. Then we're going to put it in the fridge for about, like I say, four hours. And I'll help you get some tomatoes. Because <laughs> that cabbage didn't take any time. Oh yeah, that's definitely, definitely. Oh, measure. Here. Oh, shit. Well yeah, I'll help, you with, I'll help you with the tomatoes. 
And then we'll get the tomatoes at least measured off and then I'll just chuck that, the five cups in there. Okay. Yeah, be the easiest instead of well, taking these back. In here to measure yeah, instead of taking them back off, right? Yeah. Yeah, be easier, be easier. Okay. Smell. They ever smell green, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Smell good. So it's looking like we're almost at four cups right there. This one calls for five, so another couple little more, couple little bit. And uh, what do I always say? Bob's your uncle. So the cool thing is that um, we're using our green tomatoes and we probably have in, in our batch here maybe four or five different varieties. So I know that this one right here is a Teton de Venus just because of the way that it grows right there. It has a, a sharp tip coming off of it. We can't seem to get at these because the bugs absolutely love them. So we decided to pick them and use them in our in our chow chow. Uh, we have little, uh, little uh, cherry tomatoes, there's plum tomatoes in here there's Bali tomatoes there's beefsteaks so the good thing is there's gonna be a whole smorgasbord of different varieties of tomatoes in the recipe that we're using now you don't have to use different uh, varieties of tomatoes if you only have a couple plants and it's the same varieties that's all good too the only thing that matters is if they're green so make sure they're green and uh, chop them up and get them get them all used up is what I'm trying to say I guess Hmm. Yeah, there's probably some plum tomatoes in there and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so here we have our five cups of, uh, of our green tomatoes. We're just going to get these into our bowl here to get ready to go into the fridge. So there's that taken care of. Uh, next we have, we already chopped our cabbage, so we'll get that measured off as well. There's definitely five cups there for a good old half a chunk of cabbage. So we'll just fill this right up, a little bit overflow right there. So that's about five cups. We'll chuck that in there as well. Holy, we might need a bigger bowl. So, uh, so there's what it's looking like. Uh, we'll get our onions and our peppers chopped up as well, and uh, we'll see what the next step is. Okay, so we are looking for uh, da, 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 two cups of red bell peppers. Uh, the woman's going to get those all cut up, um, and then I'm going to get on with chopping one and a half cups of the sweet onion. Mm, that pepper smells good. Mm -hmm. Get all that skin off. Oh, don't put it in there, Adam. How many cups did I say this? One and a half cups. Oh, be prepared to cry. <laughs> oh my. chopping onions. <laughs> so about one and a half cups. Get this all dumped in here. One and a half. There we go. And what's it? Two cups of the uh, red bells. As always we have Max just looking over us, Chef Max, you know, making sure everything's all good. Super Tail wagging, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a garden supervisor, he's our cooking supervisor. So we're making great progress here. Not 
quite two cups so we're getting our two cups on the go we'll get it in here with everything else and we'll get a quarter cup of pickling salt in there we'll get it all mixed around after that we'll put it into the uh, into the fridge right here and we'll let that sit for four hours and we'll come back in uh, in a little bit after that and show you all the next progress So that was the uh, quarter cup of pickling salt. So now we're just going to get everything all mixed in together here. Mix it all in nicely, get that salt all moved around, get those peppers, get the cabbage, get the tomatoes all oh, soaking in that good stuff right there. So we'll get this all circulated mixed in good and then we'll put it in the fridge and let that sit for about four hours so here's what we're looking like there's our final concoction we're going to get it all covered up got it covered up could even give it a couple more shakes and then we'll come over here to the uh to the fridge and then we're just going to put it in the fridge here for about four hours there our concoctions all done it's in the fridge we're gonna let that sit and ferment for about four hours and we'll see you back here in four hours for the next steps alrighty y'all well we have our bucket of chow chow just taken out of the fridge here so it's been in the fridge probably about maybe five hours or so so we'll open it up and see what it's looking like looking absolutely delicious So here we have our chow chow. So what we're gonna do, I have my colander in the sink here. We're just going to drain our vegetables in there and we're going to rinse and repeat that process. Rinse it with cold water, get all that salt and all that stuff off of there. Soak here. All right, so we have our large stock pot here that we're going to be using and we're going to combine the vinegar, brown sugar, mustard seed, garlic and celery seed, red pepper flakes, then we're going to bring it to a boil. So we're looking for two and a half cups of apple cider vinegar. Here's our two and a half cups of apple cider vinegar. Uh, we're going to be doing one cup of packed brown sugar.
almost there, a little bit more. All right, so there's our one cup of packed brown sugar in there. Mustard seed. One tablespoon of mustard seed. All right, so we'll get that in there. One tablespoon of mustard seed. There we go, in there. Next we have two cloves of garlic. We had that earlier. So here we are, we have our two cloves of garlic here. We'll get that chopped up. And it says two cloves, two large cloves, and we'll try and uh, finely chop it. There we go. Two finely chopped cloves, cloves. Two finely cloves of garlic. <laughs> Don't mind me, I've been cooking in the kitchen all day. All right, the next order of business, we're going to need one teaspoon of celery seed. Teaspoon celery seed. And then red pepper flakes. It says a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I may do a little bit more than that, so I'll do the recommended dose here of, uh, what is it, half a teaspoon? There's a half a teaspoon. And I may put in just a little bit more, so I'm gonna put in another, another quarter of a teaspoon, I think, just because I like my pepper flakes. So there, there we go. We're gonna bring that over to the stove and we're going to get that uh, get that nice nice and hot, bring it up to a boil. Let's go. Bring this over to the stove. Get that on high. We'll get that boiling. So we have everything that we just combined in our stock pot. We brought it over there. We're going to bring it to a boil. And I believe it says when it gets to a boil, we're going to let it simmer for five minutes. So let's just double check that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's see. In a stock pot, combine the vinegar, brown sugar, mustard seed, garlic, celery seed, and red pepper flakes. Bring to a boil, which we are doing right now. Reduce heat to low and continue to simmer for five minutes. So we'll bring it to a boil and then we'll simmer it for five minutes. Alrighty, so our concoction here has been simmering for about five minutes. We're gonna get our chow chow, our vegetable mix here, and we're gonna dump it in that. So that's the next order of business. Get all this in here. Okay, we have our vegetables in here, no problem there. Just gonna give this a little stir. We're gonna turn back up our heat and we're gonna bring it to a boil. Oh, that smells so good. So after we bring this up to a boil again, we're going to drop the heat back down and we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. All right, so we're boiling. I just turned the heat down, give it a quick little stir here, and we're going to let this simmer for 10 minutes. I'm going to get my jars out of the water bath here, and we're gonna get those ready for filling here momentarily. Looking good, looking good. coming so there we have been letting that simmer for 10 minutes now we're going to use our slotted spoon and we're going to uh, to fill up our jars
Smells absolutely delicious. Just one second, I'll get these last little tidbits in. Ooh, that's hot. It's gonna be four, don't I? Hopefully, hopefully there's enough to, I'm going to have to put some on this one. Here, I have another couple of spoonfuls here that I'll uh, go into this last jar here to try and get it all evenly displaced. And then after that, we're going to come back and we want to try and get out the last little bit of air bubbles. We'll just take this and we'll just kind of give it a little a couple jabs here get the air bubbles out make a little bit more room I'm not quite filled up right to the top on all of them but that's okay so we're gonna come in with our ladle and we're going to uh, fill our jars with enough liquid to leave about a quarter inch headspace All right, we're gonna to want to make sure that we uh, we give our jars the lids here or the the tops here a nice wipe down with a wet cloth because we don't want any or we want a good seal so we want to make sure that there's no particulate or water or any of the spices on the uh, the rims of these jars so that's why we're gonna give them a, a wipe down. Then we'll place our lids on. And we're just going to do fingertip tight with the bands. There we go. All 
So we just transferred our, uh, our chow chow back into the water bath canner. So you're gonna wanna make sure that there's at least an inch of water over the lids right here. Alrighty y'all, well our chow chow has been processed. It has been boiling in our water bath canner for approximately 10 minutes. What a day, what a day canning. Holy, we got a lot done. Let's check out the final product. Well, there they are. Four cans of chow chow looking absolutely scrum diddly umptious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So if you're looking for the full recipes for any of the canning items that we're doing here, uh, check out my Facebook page, the same thing, Maple Monkey Media. It'll be posted step-by-step -step instructions and ingredients on what you do on how to make your own chow chow. More behind the scenes pictures and progress if you're looking to kind of stay up to date on everything else. This is gonna be me signing off for another Cooking from the Garden episode. Muchly appreciate y'all taking some time out of your day to stop by to see what's happening here at Maple Monkey Media. Adam signing off. God bless. Keep that stick on the ice. There is no failure if you just keep on going. And the only person your dreams have to make sense to is you. So we'll see you all around next time here on the channel. Check out what's going on with the schoolie, the garden, all kinds of other stuff coming up here. Can't wait to share it with y'all. Thank you so much. God bless. Woo, 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 woo. Cheers, y'all. God bless.